What's up guys, today I've got a control magic list for you. I've been playing it a ton recently. I made it up to the sixth highest MMR in the game, just playing this magic list alone. I've got both a full version of the deck and a budget version of the deck. So make sure you stick around and check it out. Let's dive into the video. So here's the control magic list. The goal here is to wipe your opponent's board until the end game when you can then drop some big bombs like Moramag who does eight damage to every creature and your opponent's face. You can use your Layhard Hatchlings to do eight damage to your opponent's face by using both of these on their face. You've also got Unbound Flames which can do eight damage to the face while also simultaneously wiping their board. And you can even put out giant creatures like Helian Elites or Helmna or a 9-9 warded frontline Echolrith. And if you have demos, that's great. If you don't, you can swap these for city planners. There's a lot of stuff going on in this deck, so let's break some of it down. For one, you have Metamorphosis, which this card is insane. You get to target a creature, either friendly or foe, which is huge, and you get to delve a creature that costs one more mana and transform the target creature into the new creature. So if your opponent has something insane that you can't deal with, you just metamorphosis it for two and you get to delve. So that means three options pop up. There's typically gonna be one option that's not very good. And you can pick that if it's your opponent's creatures. And for your own, you get to pick the best option. Now for your own stuff, you only wanna really be using this for the most part on your big bombs, but especially your eights. Your sevens, if you have two in hand, perhaps you could, you know, double up on a demo or city planner or a Helmna. But if you have a Helian Elite or a Mora Mag out there and you play a more Metamorphosis, it turns into a nine drop. And those nine drops can literally instantly win you the game. If it's an Avatar of Magic, you play Metamorphosis, you still have, let's say, seven more mana left over. You play a little tiny spell, and then it just snowballs, and you get to beam your opponent in the face. You can also turn it into an Anagrios. Anagrios can just smack your opponent in the face, obliterate a bunch of their creatures. So there's a bunch of nine drops that can just win you the game. So Metamorphosis is a huge win condition, despite the fact that it's only two mana. Another key thing you can do with Metamorphosis is target your opponent's 9 drops and it will turn them into Layhorde Hatchlings as that's the only 10 drop in the game right now. So this is effectively a 2 mana deal with any 9 drop. Now against certain matchups we also have some tech cards like Gleam Weaver which obliterates cards and voids. We also have Pals' Incantation for basically the same reason. It obliterates creatures in both voids. You can get rid of those obnoxious Anubians and the obnoxious control light creatures and they're gone. However, Palace's Incantation also transforms each creature that costs six or more into a 1-1 one, one rat. This is basically a ratify, but that targets multiple creatures. So you can actually bait your opponent into maybe playing two Helian Elites or something, and then drop Palace's Incantation if you can wait that long. Even if you're just trading one Palace's Incantation for one eight drop, you're still spending less mana than your opponent to deal with their bigger threats. That's still a win and it's also a nice tech card. One of the best cards in this deck though is this Crystal Tech Scholar. It has Echo, which means you get to play it twice effectively, the second time for only one mana, and it has Roar Unlock a Mana Lock. So the first time you play this, it's four mana, it's a one one, who cares, but it unlocks a mana lock. But the key is the second time you get to play it, it's a one mana unlock a mana lock, and you can even empower it the second time a lot more frequently than the first time and draw a card so three mana, unlock a mana lock, and draw a card, and play a 1-1 one, one creature. I mean, that's a huge creature. Now, the fact that it's four mana and you get to unlock twice means that if you play this on five mana, it unlocks all the way up to six, meaning the following turn, you can use your bag of tricks to be at seven mana. So you can go straight from turn five all the way up to seven mana with a Crystal Tech Scholar. And that's huge because once you get to your seven drops, you have Demogorgons, City Planners, Helmnas. Uh, even if you can just get to six and get a big dragon out, that's huge. And Unbound Flames is also enormous. It can clear their board, simultaneously start hitting their face if they don't have a huge threat out. If they have a huge threat and a small board, you can do eight to one and four to the rest. Today's video is actually sponsored by Aqua.xyz the best community marketplace for players to learn more about Web3 Gaming, 
getting deeper insights on your in-game NFTs so you can buy, sell, and trade better. They have a lot of really cool features, such as the ability to click buy deck, paste in a deck list, and then actually pick up the entire deck list of any cards that you're missing, and it shows you which cards you already own. You can switch currencies. There's all kinds of cool things you can do. Both deck lists from today's video are in the description, so make sure you go check them out. All right, looks like we have ourselves a mirror match here. We do not need these cards. Holy smokes. So Gleamweaver's pretty much worthless in this matchup, but I'm gonna keep it in my hand for as long as possible. Just to count towards the dragons, which need eight cards in hand. And okay. So far, we're just doing the same thing. Next turn. We can ramp a couple times if we wanted. The possibilities are endless. That's enough for now. Be very careful of the wind-up roller in the Sanctum. Someone's going to mill a card. They're not careful. And that card could be a key card. Gets the dragon out early. I don't know how I feel about that. Feels a little too early for that dragon. Did force me to use a lot of resources. Hmm. It's an early safeguard, I don't like it. Gives me a really easy turn here. Just ping and then shaped blast, pick up a bunch of favor. Like I said, this card is going to cause someone to mill, so I'm going to grab it. Anytime he ends his turn. with eight or nine cards. The possibilities are endless. We shall be there to wreck him. So we can Iron Tooth remove this. Go ahead and ping his God Protect here. It's going to be key for Moramag, which if we find Moramag right now, we can play it. So let's be ready. Hmm. 
If he ever wants to keep himself ready for more mag, he can't dodge my wind-up roller. So he can't buy something from the Sanctum. This looks promising. He has to wait until he's ready. Now if we had Safeguard Incantation, it would be nice. Now he's able to play Mora Mag, which we gotta be very careful. Can't just drop like a naked Helmna here or we get wrecked. So we can always Metamorph this if we wanted to. We also have Palace's Incantation. We can also sleep it. I'm just gonna play Palace's Incantation here. Take that out. It will appear our self-awareness is the key to victory. He buys a card. He's gotta be real careful. Here it is, he finally forgot, and now we get to mill a card. And meanwhile, we'll drop a giant dragon. And we got it one of his city planners, so I mean, that's huge. You make one mistake, you lose a city planner for free. Spent two mana to make him lose a city planner. Wouldn't be shocked to see, uh... Wow, he's gonna use a lot of resources to kill this. We'd love to see this. Holy smokes. That's not what I was expecting. Quite happy to see that. Alright. We still don't have God Protect. If we had God Protect, I'd be fine playing Helmna, because the Mormag isn't as good. He also just used a bunch of cards. So we can get away with a little bit more. Though we do still have to be very cautious. He said seven, he draws one. I mean, he can't play Moramag next turn. So I am going to go ahead and play Helmna. He just used a lot of resources last turn. In fact, I'm even going to go like this, and then grab this rune. Patience is a virtue. Keep ourselves ready for our own Moramag. So here we can finally drop Gleam Weaver. And then we draw some cards. And worst comes to worst, we're going to use this Rune of Strength so we don't mill ourselves. Always have a plan when you're drawing cards if you're going to end up with nine cards so you don't end up milling yourself. I imagine we'll see more mag here, but we have lots of answers to more mag. We finally baited his out. Now if we play ours the following turn, I mean, we're super happy. We didn't find ours, and now we finally find safeguard. Not ideal, but let's go ahead and see what we draw. There's the other safeguard, okay. Ideally, we could have played Armor Mag after he played his. We've only got seven cards left.
Pops Ward. So he's probably looking to Flame of the Second shattering me. If he doesn't kill this though, we get to play the second demo and he gets wrecked. Even if he does kill this, we get to play the second demo. Or if we find our Moramag here. We've got a couple shots at it if we want. Negative. So, we actually have Lay Horde. Tracking Bolt. I don't want to use too many cards here, though. We want to stay ready for our Moramag, which is in the bottom six. So I'm just going to God Power. Mm. And play a demo. And we're going to stay ready. Probably will ping off our protect. And then we can play another safeguard. If we don't find our Moramag, which we cannot find him. I like Stormstress here. Let's go ahead and safeguard. Now that we're getting a little bit more favor, we can conceivably play another card. I like doing four to his face, but I'm just going to pass. One of these bottom four cards is our Mora Mag. Okay, City Planner gets killed by Unbound. A or Mora Mag. There's that Mora Mag. Mag is so nasty. And now we don't need to keep all the cards in our hands, so we can even go a bit more all in here. Smack them around a little bit. We could have bagged into Metamorphosis here, but I don't like that. Gives him one turn to deal with whatever we get, whereas next turn, if we can metamorphosis this into an avatar of magic, we just OTK him. The possibilities are endless. That's just GG's. Whew. And that's a sweaty control magic mirror match for you.